to uh, TEDx YYC here at the Grand in Calgary, joined by Jamie Furness. Thank you so much for taking the time to uh, come and participate in today's event. Thank you. It's been wonderful. It's been a real pleasure and yeah. very stimulating. Awesome. So let's start with getting uh, some insights into what you do and what brought you here. Uh, well, I'm a DPhil student in Oxford. Um, I study in the Department of International Development and my fieldwork is in Cairo uh, with the city's garbage collectors. Um, what brought me here is kind of a random connection, but I was invited by uh, Jasmine to give a talk a little bit about that. Yeah. You know, it was interesting that the subject of uh, your presentation today was about um, recycling, not as environmentalists, but as those that need to commodify a product. And it's always interesting when we step outside of our comfort zone of, you know, North America or Western society, that things really get kind of, you know, turned on their head. So what even brought you to wanting to look at the world from this perspective and kind of figure out maybe some better answers to some problems that are more pervasive than even in just one geography? Yeah, well, my talk was called uh, The Best Recyclers Aren't Environmentalists. And uh, it's basically about how you're getting much better recycling rates in a place like Cairo um, by people who really don't care that much um, about the environmental discourse um, but are very interested in making a living off waste um, and honestly I think I res I mean you asked me what brought me to want to talk about that I think if anything I probably resisted it ideologically for a long time because it just didn't sound right to me um, and I certainly don't want it to come across as sort of an anti-environmentalism uh, sort of speech but it's just what I noticed there, um, and it's funny because I'm trying to make another film now about uh, how waste flows around the world, and this, you know, classically local issue has actually become a totally globalized and b totally commodified with China as the linchpin, um, because they're treating waste essentially just as a resource and doing amazing stuff that we're, you know, completely left behind on. And the fact that basically at the bottom of this, the message is, you know, forget all about environmentalism. Business is the ticket forward. Um, while maybe it resonates in Calgary, is making it really hard for me to find producers for this film. Right, right. Fair enough. I, I, I think my point was it to not abandon environmentalism because yeah. obviously the principles are very important to, 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 to guiding ourselves forward. But I just think that it's interesting, um, you know, how in a more privileged society we tackle problems out of one set of choices and in other societies and other parts of the world when we're faced with different choices sometimes it closes the loop on things I guess that was sort of more of my you know my yeah, point yeah. as far as that concerned. Yeah. Um, so our theme for TEDx was community and forward motion and you know we looked at inviting a group of people together that could help um, you know bring us some lessons of looking at a global perspective and how can we act locally and so what I want to know from you is how can we sort of take some of the principles that you talked about and apply them to our own kind of local Local, um, desire to want to be proactive in our community. Gosh, it's hard. I mean, that was one of the things that I was thinking about because obviously the model that I was describing in Cairo, um, you know, is not something that can be implemented, um, you know, in any sort of, you know, immediate way in the West. But I think that 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 style of thinking has a lot of potential. Basically, what I see is that since the 70s in the West, we've been trying to use, you know, this environmental discourse to get over the waste problem, making it sort of an obligation on people and impressing upon them that, you know, although it's a bit of a burden, this is the right thing and you really should do it. And I just don't think we've got quite the traction um, with that approach that I would have liked to have seen, you know. So I'm trying to sort of uh, participate in a debate about new ways of seeing waste, you know? Well, I think that it was really great that you were able to participate in the event because I think that's one of the things that we hope that we can even give back to individuals like yourselves that are coming here to present is an opportunity to maybe, you know, reshape a dialogue that you've been having already or be introduced to new people to start an, a new engagement with. So thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate that. We've been here with Jamie Furness and we're at TEDxYYC. I'm Michelle Sklar.